Hey, Wilson, come on in, man. Dude, so I'm over here just doing videos, man, and I'm testing out the new Soundcore uh, Boom 2 versus literally everything I can throw at it at this point. I've already done this by itself, right? But then let me turn this down a little bit. I compared it to its its predecessor or its its older sibling, which is the Motion Boom. And to me, it kind of just beats up on the Motion Boom. But now we got to get JBL into the mix, man. Let me sit down so I can talk about this. I'll put this on pause. I've got the JBL Charge 5. Look, if you don't know by now that this is one of my top two favorite JBL speakers of all time, right next to the JBL Boombox 3, then now you know, right? So the JBL Charge 5, and I'll tell you why I have these two speakers here. And then I got the JBL Extreme 3, which is, I feel like, I put this one right next to the Pulse 5. Like, I'm not a huge fan of this speaker. And you might even see why in this comparison. So at retail, right, we got 130 bucks, 129, and then we have 179. So 180, 130, and like 379, or like, yeah, 380. So there's, the reason why I have these speakers here is because as far as price goes, uh, this is the cheapest. Yeah, Soundcore is the cheapest, right? And But it actually sits in between these as far as price and like, power output and everything else. It like sits in the middle. So we're gonna do, yes, the ridiculous comparison of the Soundcore Boom 2 versus the JBL Charge 5. And we're also gonna do what is more, what I would think would be more of a match, which would be the Soundcore Boom 2 versus the JBL Extreme 3. Now I know y'all gonna be like, well, wait till the Extreme 4 comes out. It's gonna be the same shit, man. <laughs> I don't know why, why people be trying to just, apologize for JBL. You, you look, the Extreme 3 and Extreme 4 are gonna sound very, very close to the same. It's just gonna be a different build. Either way, I've already listened to this, but I'm gonna let you hear it for yourself. So let me just take these over here real quick. Come on over here, Wilson, follow me over here, and we are gonna get this comparison going, bro. about it Raylan what you think about it man what you think about this soundcore boom too man don't push me in the pool dude watch out <laughs> Raylan tried to push me in the pool man can I get the speakers dude what are you up to right now Mita Zetan Zetan good boy bye dude he's trying to push me into the pool anyways so what you just heard was what you just heard bruh I don't make the rules I just abide by what I hear. Now, when I say what I hear, what I hear in live action, I have all three of these sitting here. What you heard was a little audio sample through my microphone, and then it goes through the editing process, and then I shoot it through the internet, YouTube compresses it, and then you listen to it on some tiny ass earbuds, and then you make your call. I'm telling you right now, this is the better sounding speaker. Okay, and when I say better sounding, I'm not saying these are bad because they're both, they both actually sound really good. I think the Charge 5 outperforms. It doesn't like sound, well, 
it outperforms. It sounds better than the Extreme 3 to me. It always has, especially when you talk about bang for buck. But all three of them sound really good. It's just that if I were going to go with the budget with great sound, bang for buck, I'm definitely picking up a boom too. But if I was going to compare to the speaker that it should be compared to, which is the JBL Extreme 3, in my opinion, uh, is there really a contest, man? I feel like you get better highs with the, with the Boom 2. You definitely get better bass. Those low frequencies, they stick around on the high end. When you start cranking up that volume past 50%, the bass sticks around and hangs out for the party with the Boom 2. Wilson even heard it, man. He was like, man, where'd the bass go? When I turned it up past 50, the bass just goes, woo. I don't know why it does that. I guess they do that to, pres uh, to preserve sound so you don't have distortion. But the Boom 2, it, it loses a little bit of bass, but it sticks around, man. It hangs out for the party. Look, I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is where I would put my money if I was looking for a nice, easy on the pocket uh, budget with some really good quality sound. And that's what you're getting here out of the Boom 2. Extreme 3, I ain't never liked this speaker, man. <laughs> so if you gotta have a JBL, just get a Charge 5. Matter of fact, get two Charge 5s. Maybe I'll do that comparison someday. Not today. Maybe I'll do two charge fives versus a boom too. I don't know. If you if you behave in the comment section, you JBL fanboys, maybe I'll do that. But either way, me and Raylan gotta go. Wilson, you gotta go too, because Raylan, Raylan don't really like you that much. He, <laughs> no, Raylan be jumping all over Wilson. <laughs> Raylan, you wanna get in the pool today? You just had a bath, homie. Say goodbye to the people. Look, y'all keep being good to each other, and we'll see you when we see you.